Great, I don't remember how to do this at all. <clears throat> Completely forgot. You're listening to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby. And the Duke. For two weeks now, listeners have been calling in worried about Yelltown fever. Joining us on the line now is Patrick Rancho, CEO of the Rancho Health Corporation. Mr. Rancho, has RHC lost control of the situation? Oh, thank you for having me on the show, Bobby, Duke. Uh, no, RHC has not lost control. In fact, we've been very successful in containing a highly contagious unknown pathogen. Yelltown, or Buddha's Hill, now Greystone. Is it time people got out of Port Nicola, Mr. Rancho? Panic will only make it harder to keep people safe. Our doctors are getting better at treating this virus every day. They're working tirelessly to protect you and your loved ones. Please, stay in your homes and remain calm. Ugh. Harper? Harper. Uh, what? What's going on? Ah! Oh, my head. Where am I? You're in Port Nicola, my apartment. We followed your tracks and found you out cold by that radio tower. Ranger Jervis told me everything about this cult. Thank God you're finally awake. I'm not sure she had anything to do with it, dear. Professor, he's talking. Good to have you back, Harper. What happened to you out there? Ugh, I, I need to get to a hospital. You're safer here. We can't trust hospitals, Harper. You don't understand. They infected me with Yelltown fever. You have to get away from me. Yelltown fever? Harper, you were feverish for a few nights, but you don't have the symptoms of the Yelltown virus. But the, the cold guy shot me with some virus thing. Your system took a beating, son, but you're not infected. Very strange, that. Let me take a blood sample and run some more tests. Ick. Okie doke. I'll call when I have the results. Try not to worry. So I'm... I'm all right? Get some fresh air and you'll be right as rain. Goodbye, Miss Halliwell. I shouldn't go rummaging around amongst Hellowell's things. Maybe I ought to change my clothes. I've been wearing the same outfit for weeks. But I don't think Hellowell has anything in my size. Never mind. Aw, Hellowell's printed out articles she wrote. What a tryhard. Being proud of my work doesn't make me a tryhard. Great journalism is the last thing safeguarding our democratic freedoms. Uh-huh. Seven ways to clean your apartment using bread. Hey, those work. Number five will blow your mind. A little red light. Presumably for tiny sex workers. It's for my stiff neck, Harper. Working on the laptop is not so good. Whatever. Would you mind if I borrow the light bulb? I guess so, if you think it'll help. Nice basket. I could see Hallowell filling it with flowers and riding around town. Have you actually met me? A bicycle patch kit. I'll swipe it while Hallowell isn't looking. I may not be looking, but I am listening. You sure talk to yourself a lot. Well, I spent a lot of time living alone. Oh yeah, I'm taking that bike bump. I can't think of a situation this wouldn't be useful in. <laughs> Are you still here? Yes. 
You have a very lovely apartment, lol. Huh, baking powder. Well, well, sure has a lot of dishes. I bet she hosts, like, fancy soirees and stuff. So, this is where Hallowell keeps her mildew. I am not feeling so good, but I've woken up in strangers' houses looking worse. Indoor plumbing. What will those eggheads come up with next? I don't need to go. Hey, how did I go when I was sick in bed? I am not going to think too hard about that. Clothesline in the bathroom. City folk are so sophisticated. It'd be pretty dark in here without this. All right, hello, well, what's the tea? Thank you for taking care of me. Ah, yeah, McBride did most of the work. How are you feeling? Uh, okay, I guess. Ah, my head is pounding, though. Maybe you should take a walk. Relax a little. Did you pick up the virus canister when you found me? Virus canister? Damn. I guess the cult guy took it. Sorry, Harp. You did have that diary you told me about. Here. I also took the film out of the ranger's camera. Oh, good thinking. Have you found out anything about RHC? Whoever set the Greystone radio tower on fire knew what they were doing. There was nothing left by the time I arrived. So I've spent the last week doing traditional research. But for a major health contractor, RHC either had very light footsteps or very good lawyers. Or both. What's the link between RHC and the death cult from Greystone? Hard to say. Ranger Jervis set up a phone call with your friend Cardero. Cardero? Huh. I bet he flipped out after two minutes. Five, actually. He wanted to help, but he didn't know anything about Rancho Health Corporation. Huh. Who's in charge of RHC? Patrick Rancho. I haven't been able to confirm his DOB, but he's at least 60. RHC was formed through a merger in 92, and Rancho's been at the helm ever since. Can you get an interview with him? <sighs> RHC looks like an octopus with a million tentacles and no head. I've called every number, and I haven't got higher than the interns who do the photocopying. Do you think the cult is controlling RHC? That's terrifying option A. The corporation has been infiltrated by some crazy cult. And terrifying option B? The corporation was set up by the crazy cult. Is there a comforting option C? Nope. What else do you know about Patrick Rancho? Just that he doesn't like phone calls from nosy writers. Rancho must have gotten MC Escher to design his corporate structure. Everyone I talk to passes me on to someone else until I end up back at the start. Shouldn't we tell everyone what RHC is up to? We can't, not yet. RHC is too influential. If we told people what we saw, what some crackpot artist told us, we'd be lucky not to end up in straitjackets. No. We need hard evidence before we go public. You have a point. When can we tell people what we know about RHC? When we have hard evidence. We can't risk going public too soon. Enough about RHC. Have you looked at the photos Jervis took? Not yet. It's one of those old-fashioned analog cameras. The film needs developing, but I don't dare hand them over the counter at Photo Mart. I'm being super cautious. This roll could contain explosive material. Oh, wow. Right. Not literally explosive. Oh, right. Have you tried developing the Ranger's photos yourself? I always sucked big time at chemistry. You're good with technical stuff. Why don't you give it a try? Me? <laughs> no way. I'll probably just set myself on fire. I'll quit it. Take the film. I guess I'll see what I can do. Talk to you later. Oh, before I forget, take this. A flash drive? 
What's on it? Naughty stuff? Pretty naughty, yeah. A hacking app for bypassing security protocols. It's not powerful enough to take on RHC-level mega encryption, but you might find some use for it. Hacking? All right. You are a cool person, Jane Hallowell. Yeah, whatever. It's super illegal, so don't leave it on the bus. Which reminds me, take this map. I don't want you wandering off into the woods again. Let's take a peek at that map. City Center Dockside and the University. Not too bad. Probably just show me that map. Logan D. Hollich. Looks like this truck hasn't made any deliveries for a few weeks. This building's amazing. It's like all Greek or Roman or something. It makes the Yelltown Traveling Library look like an ice cream truck driven by an ex-con. That sculpture is unsettling, and I thought Cardero's art was creepy. An advert for a company called Vision Laser Printing. Looks closed, but I can see someone in there. Hello? Sorry, bro, we're closed. I need to develop some photos. Going analog, eh? What type of film? Uh, I don't know. Uh, says KF20 on the spool. KF20? No way. Seriously. Uh, why? What's KF20? KF20 is a super rare large format film from WW2. Huge, like, five inch negatives. Great for landscapes. Cool that you found some. Let me see if I have any development kits left in the back. Sorry, bro. All I have left is a display model, but it's missing one of the chemicals. What chemical is the photo development kit missing? The developing fluid. The developing fluid is important, right? It is, bro. You won't get far without it. Do you have any developing fluid in stock? No dice. Unless... Yes? If you really want to develop those snaps... I do. You could make yourself some caffeinol instead. What is caffeinol? Caffeinol is a homebrew photo developing fluid made of coffee. Your pics won't be the sharpest or the brightest, but hey, homemade developing fluid. How come you're closed? Look around you, pal. The town is dead thanks to this plague. I can't even get stock delivered. They're blocking pretty much every shipment coming into Port Nicola right now. I'd be tearing my hair out if it wasn't slick as hell. Why are they blocking shipments to Port Nicola? I don't know. I guess they think that's how the fever got to Yelltown? They're wrong. The fever didn't arrive by mail order. Whatever. Only basic necessities are getting through. Everything else gets checked and rechecked. Some pen pusher decided classic photographic equipment isn't a basic necessity. <laughs> no way! How do I make caffeinol? You're gonna do it? Cool! Take some instant coffee. Not fresh coffee, not decaf, instant. Add some baking powder to it, and boom, you've got yourself developing fluid. But you should add some vitamin C as well, or it'll take hours for the film to develop. Instant coffee, baking powder, and vitamin C. Sounds easy. Yeah. Here, take the development kit. You'll need it once you've made some caffeinol. Thanks, man. Talk to you later. Later, bro. What a cool guy. Escargo, soupe à la onguinon, croque monsieur. Some doofus has printed this menu in French. Well, hey there, old timer. Hmm. Hello. Are you waiting for the restaurant to open? No. I'm exercising my rights as a private citizen to sit down and read my newspaper in a public square. Are you trying to curtail my liberties? No, no, no. I'm not trying to curtail anything. Good. What are you reading there? B.S. is what it is. B.S. Baloney. Excuse my language. This Yelltown fever bullcrap. How dumb do they think we are? Do you realize that doctors, the doctors are the ones making people sick? Wait, what? Exactly. Vaccination, inoculation, fluoridation, unisex bathrooms. 
It's all a part of the liberal agenda. Oh, God, you're that guy. That magnifier you're using looks pretty powerful. Yeah, it's pretty good. I got it at the public library. They give them away free to seniors. At the library? Waste of taxpayers' money, if you ask me. But at least I can keep myself informed. You don't seem to be touching your coffee. Yeah. I had it with me since I caught the bus into town from Willowdale. It's freeze-dried instant crap. Smells okay, though. Instant? I could, uh, get rid of it for you. No. I couldn't face a lie these jokers print without a cup of coffee by my side. Even instant coffee is better than no coffee, bub. What was that about doctors making us sick? That's how they do it. With the GM foods and the gay marriage and... Right. You don't actually know anything about the Yelltown virus, do you? What do you expect when the papers print nothing but socialist BS? This magnifier just makes the lies bigger. Okay, take it easy, Pops. Do you read a lot? Oh, a hell of a, a hell of a lot. My eyes need a little help, but my mind is probably sharper than yours. You young folk are sleepwalking. Sleepwalking. Be speaking Chinese by Christmas, mark my word. Thanks for the warning. I'll be on my guard. Your coffee's getting cold. Let me take that away for you. Move a muscle and I will yell for the cops. The smell of coffee is one of the few pleasures I have left. Even if it is instant crap, I won't let anybody take that away from me. Okay, okay. See you around. Uh-huh. Maybe I can get coffee from the restaurant. Restaurant Celine. Shame, it seems to be closed. Uh, never mind. Well, let's go to the library. I have a strong feeling I'm gonna need a, um... A, uh, a uh, magnifying glass. Might as well stop in there while I can. They only give them away to, for free to seniors. Oh, you know what? The, 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 uh, professor might have coffee. This painting reminds me of Greystone Woods. I hope Jervis and Cardero are okay out there. These e-readers are in terrible condition. They all smell like musty leaves. I feel like I should be wearing a tweed jacket in here. Quiet, please. No food or drink, no cell phones, no running, no diving, no peeing in the pool. A crazy huge mountain range. Makes you realize how many places you haven't been. Port Nicola in the snow. I thought it never snowed here. It doesn't. Not for ten years or something. Oh, hello, sir. Wuthering Heights, have you read it? Yes! Um, of course I have. Wuthering well, Heights What do you think? It's too great. much Wuthering, in my opinion. It is so cool. Really? Oh my god, Far it's too such much. a good book. Wither, wither, wither. I was like, stop the Wuthering already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name's Trisha, by the way. Harper, pleased to meet you. <laughs> I hear you give away free magnifiers for reading. Yeah, we do. To seniors. Cool, cool. Can I have one? That depends. Are you a senior citizen? I was hoping you'd give me one for free just to be nice. No way. If you want one, they're three bucks. Well, I'm really seeing another side of you. Shut up and fork over the dough. What's this chunky computer? The Interactive Mercantile Directory. The IMD is part of the library's local history project. What's it for? It lets you search all the businesses and institutions registered in PN over the last 30 years. It was developed at PNU by some of my friends. But to be honest, it's pretty much a yawn fest. Can I use the IMD? Sure. I just switched it off to save energy. The button's on the back. Thanks. What do you think of RHC? RHC? I think they're doing a good job. I mean, they're like... Stopping this horrible virus from reaching the city, right? Well, what if I told you RHC were actually spreading the virus? I would direct you to the self-help section. What's with all the books? This is Port Nicola Public Library. Do you have a license for them all? Do I need a license? Do you? Honey, 
I ought to take these books down to the station right now. No, please. Okay, okay. But at least get them neutered, or, you know, you'll be overrun with pamphlets in no time. <laughs> Are you from Port Nicola? I moved here for college. I'm from Maplewood originally. Port Nicola's okay, but I miss home, you know? Yep. I'm from, uh, Yelltown. Yelltown? Oh, sorry. Do you have family back there? No family. Some friends. That's horrible. Lucky you're here, I guess. I guess. What do you study? I'm majoring in English Lit. What about you? Me? Oh, whoa. No, uh, I'm not a student. I mean, I was for like a week, years ago. So are you, like, really old then? Yeah, extremely, extremely old. I'm gonna go take a nap in the large print section. I gotta run. Oh, didn't you want to borrow a book or something? Um, maybe later. Cool. See you later. Sue, this is the Interactive Mercantile Directory. Let's take a look. Looks like I printed something. How futuristic and useful. I printed out some random address from the IMD. I don't know if this will be any use. 